The collection was actually inspired by Greece and European beaches, Saint Tropez, Greek islands. I love everything small. Like the more okay. butt, the better. That's like <laughs> my favorite. That is, that is her. What I really struggled with in the fashion industry was the waste. And what I realized with jewelry is you can actually use a lot of materials which are otherwise discarded. Look out for the hot new statement one piece, the plunge monokini. We've got macrame cutouts in the front and back. Miami, sexy swim week. The inspiration for the show, think Grecian goddess. In the Mediterranean in August, 10 to 15 minutes after she comes out of the sea. The hair has a wet feel, salty, natural. It's beautiful, it's effortless. That was the idea today. All these models have such gorgeous long hair. And so we're just really getting in there and emphasizing their natural texture. It's product, product, product. The hair oil, which is what really allows us to piece it out at the end and to give it that wet feel. Backstage, we're usually set up with curling irons and blow dryers, this and that. Today, honestly, it's hands. It's hands, really, it's all the hands. The look is such a cool beach girl. Where other brands tend to go for a look that's inspired by the beach, Tori wants a look that is straight from the beach. A beautiful, bronzy look, and the skin is flawless. Any time that you're working with a model who's then turned a designer, I think you get a level of specificity and a level of respect for the craft of modeling that not every designer typically has. So with Tori, she's bringing to the table with wanting to keep the girls beautiful and sexy because she knows what makes herself feel powerful down the runway, and it's also something that makes her feel powerful on the beach. So I think every woman can relate to that. The collection was actually inspired by Greece and European beaches, Saint Tropez, Greek islands, my travels and just the experiences I've had traveling around the world, different cultures, that kind of thing. I mean, that really inspired me more than anything else. I wanted to really evoke the girl that was just on vacation, you know, in a beautiful place. Not too much that went into it, just relaxed, casual, down to earth. We did a few different new florals this year and then a couple different techniques that we haven't done in the past. We did an eyelet. We did this really cool floral embroidery with different color threads the stripes 
and the zigzag. A lot of black and that kind of thing, which I was feeling this year. I've never been a one-piece kind of girl, but I totally appreciate them now. I never thought I would, but being a new mom and not being back in my shape that I'm used to. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's fun to switch things up. I've worn a bikini my whole life and I've been wearing one-pieces and I really loved it. It's been fun. Sexy short <laughs> and um, I don't know fun oh yeah short tight and sexy We cater to three girls. Mm -hmm. The surf girl, the skate girl, and the boho girl. Okay. So KOS actually stands for skate, boho, surf. We're honestly inspired by <laughs> skate, boho, surf. We've taken it from the beginning and just provide them with what they know and stay true to our brand. Yeah, it's most important to us. Our skate girl was the denim. She's a little edgier. She likes to be fashion forward. I think our skate girl would be like a Bella Hadid. Our surf girl is where you see high neck stuff, bottoms that are functional that you can surf in, girls that love water sports. Our surf girl would be like an Alana Blancher, just like your easy, beautiful, beachy girl who wears like no makeup, carefree. And our boho girl is the tassels, more free-spirited, earthy tones. And 
I think we find the most boho inspo from ourselves. It's kind of the style we go with. I'm definitely the boho. That's where I mesh most with the business. For her, I think she's a little bit more skate surf. I love everything small. Like the more okay. butt, the better. That's okay. like my favorite. That is that is her. Our muse is kind of change all the time. Sometimes it's ourselves, sometimes it's girls on Instagram, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's our friends. Yeah. yeah. Me and Allie met at Fitum. I actually design and she does all the business. So we're a good team. She's the brains, and I just do the silly stuff. But no, uh, this is all the really important stuff, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we met at Fitum through a friend, and I think it was our third time actually meeting up. We were like, do you want to start a business together? And it just like perfectly panned out. Yeah, we were like a great team. We both grew up by the beach, and when you have a passion for something, you can't succeed in something unless your heart is totally in it, and that's what swimwear was for us. So we started about three years ago, and we just kind of got started. We just started drawing, starting designing, and from there just like really took off for us. This experience has been amazing, and if this is what we do every year for the rest of our lives, then that's so be awesome. It. Yeah. I worked in fashion for quite a few years, Vivian Westwood, Tempoli, Diesel and various other brands. I also was working in theatre for costume designs and also jewellery. So that's where, where the jewellery brand sort of came about. I started to learn a bit more about that. What I really struggled with in the fashion industry was the waste. And what I realized with jewelry is you can actually use a lot of materials which are otherwise discarded. Also the sizing is not such a big problem. And also for me, sculpture was always my passion, as was fine art, as was fashion. And so I feel that with jewelry, it's basically the two combined, sculpture, fashion in one, and a lot less wastage. Um, and I really felt there was a niche in the market. and so. I just wanted to create something which was a bit more conscious, a bit more about eco-sustainable design with ethical practices, but also being stylish, because we all like to look good, you know, so what better to look good than be conscious about what you're buying. 
I basically use a lot of materials from restaurants. So these shells are actually leftovers from a meal in Hong Kong, uh, which would be typically would involve abalone. And so I've built up relationships with these restaurants and I get the shells from them, as well as I do from a furniture factory in the Philippines. So the wood is all FSC approved wood and they're the off cuts that they normally discard or burn. And so I've now been collecting them in, in barrels and bring them to the workshops. And then we use that together with things like the recycled abalone and some crystals, driftwood as well. There's a community there which also collects driftwood from the beaches, fishermen's wives, and so sustaining that sort of um, smaller community as well. crystals of which I've been using all represent different healing properties as well. So with each of my collections, there's often the story and inspiration behind them relate very closely to my life as well. So for example, with um, my previous collection when I was pregnant with my son, I used the lapis lazuli and that's all about transformation and um, change basically. That's a lot to do with that and communication. And then in the most recent collection, I've used rose quartz, which represents love. And then the blue lace agate, which is about balancing basically and I had my son <laughs> so that kind of it's interesting that also on a daily basis you know we often reach for different crystals based on what we kind of need to balance our spiritual dynamics and you wear it close on your skin you know the whole time and it really represents you know your, yourself it's how you can sort of express yourself and so yeah I think that that's definitely part of my jewelry design I'm excited about this one because it's the first time I've used copper in designs as well and rose gold is a really, you know, really beautiful, something different, um, which we haven't really been doing and so I mixed it with like a stainless steel, um, sheets of that and then the outside of the shell which is really rough and unpolished but I really like the contrast of that together with the um, shiny shells so um, I've used also the recycled wood here and some mother of pearl, using different textures and different materials and just trying to push the boundaries a little bit and just see what you can actually do that's not necessarily your, your typical treatment. Tonight, you are about to witness the showcasing of Le Romantique Spring 2017 San Lorenzo Bikini Collection. Our inspiration for this collection was just the roller coaster of this year, just the excitement of growth from the company and just wanting to dip our toes into everything. It's inspired by the fantasy of just endless travel, also um, inspirations from France and, and the European countries, just romantic and exotic. have eight different colorways all prints with all come with a matching solid we have ten different bodies seven of which are brand new never before seen
macrame this season, there's corset braiding, the classic styles. And then we brought in some more cutout wraps and little keyholes and more loops and cheeky knits. A lot of details, a lot of exclusive prints and, and cuts. It's really amazing. Look out for the hot new statement one piece, the plunge monokini. We've got macrame cutouts in the front and back, coming in, of course, all the same eight colorways. The mauve and Versailles print has been really hot, and it also the Savannah and Storm. It is a hot jungle print called Savannah. We've got tidbits of even tiger and cheetah in there. And then the reverse is to pure classic black. And all these same styles, bodies, they're all in the same colorways. So the mix and match options are endless. So you've got your Savannah keyhole top, which you can put with your braided thong bottom or your classic braided top anything. Be in the store trying them on all day. I wish more women would just pay attention to how it makes them feel in that moment and not what's on the tag. You know, not an extra small or a small medium, but just more how it makes her feel and what's her personality and where it can take her. The wanderer, the free spirit, the lover of travel, and exoticism, and love of fashion and opportunity and exploration. Again, the fantasy of endless travel.